Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Tech It Let's Play. For those of you that don't know what Tech It is, Tech It is a bunch of mods which have been put together, a bunch of amazing mods, may I just add, um, such as Industrial Craft, uh, Red Power, and Equivalent Exchange, to name a few. They've been put together to form a super mod. And we're going to be doing amazing things like... Um, Chopping down wood. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to be chopping down wood. Well, we might start by chopping down wood, but that's not how we're going to end up. We're going to end up automating lots and lots of things. And we're going to get lots and lots of materials. I'm going to make cool stuff. Okay? So, let's create a world. Now, I've not played a lot of Tech It. Uh, let's call this world Tekka. Tekka. It's got a nice ring to it. I've not played a lot of Tech It. I've uh, finally made a few machines. But basically, I've I've got to grips with what to do to begin with, and this let's play slash tutorial is it's going to be my way of of reinforcing the learning. And anyone who's watching, um, I'll I'll illustrate everything I'm doing. So if you're just getting into tech, it this is perfect because I'm going to show you exactly how you need to be sort of starting off, and we're going to build some awesome things. Okay, so. Um, we seem to have spawned in a in a nice uh, nice area. Lots of trees. Now the oh, fantastic! Well, that was a good start. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. Okay, uh, but at least I see coal. That's always good because you know how annoying it is to mine coal when you first start. We need light. Everyone needs light. What are we gonna do without light? I, I'm I don't live in the dark. I'm not nocturnal. So, um, you may be wondering, why am I jumping around on trees? Well, the first thing I want to do is see if there's any rubber trees about. Now, rubber trees are one of the things I knew to tech it. They'll allow me to make um, things like wires. Wires are important. And the way I identify a rubber tree is it, it will have... Uh, three, well, maybe two blocks of leaves on top of it. Can't see many just yet. But that's not important just yet because eventually we'll find some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find somewhere where I can build my house and then cut down the trees around that. I don't want to stray too far away from from this. What's this? Is this a, is this a canyon? No. But there's a fantastic amount of coal. I'm really, really pleased about that. Okay, uh, so we're going to traverse this. And jump. Yep. Ah, already one of the new uh, minerals present in present in Tekken. This is copper. Copper ore. Copper ore will be used to make things like copper pipes. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's other stuff. Wow. Uh, what what is this over here? Now this is something I haven't seen yet. At least I don't think I've seen it. Oh my giddy ant. What is this? Clearly it's a volcano. This must be some kind of volcanic ash or something. This is fantastic. I am definitely going to build a base in there at some point. I'm sure I need a pickaxe first, however. So let's let's get to work cutting down some trees. Um, and we'll mine that coal and make a, a, a tiny little sort of house to house to sit in. Um, if there's any boring parts, stuff that I can leave you to do yourself in the actual uh, game, then um, obviously I'll just I'll just let you do that. I'll I'll skip over it on the video. So I'm gonna start by chopping down lots and lots of wood because you, you can never have too much wood. And it's always going to be come in handy. So, here I am chopping wood. I'll see you in a second when I've got a decent amount. And I'll, I'll start building the house. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. I've got a little bit of wood. And I'm going to make a small little tool shed that I can, I can put a bed in and at least sleep for the night. Now, I still need wool for that. Uh, but let's get the, the shed up and running. So uh, I'm going to build it in this sort of little area here. Uh, I've got 
all this stuff I can mine down here. Uh, there aren't many, well, I haven't seen any rubber trees yet, but I'm sure we'll find them. And once we do, we can take the saplings and plant them over where we're working. So, I'm not going to make it too big. Let's have it. Something like... This. Okay, so, uh... Let's turn all this wood into planks. And fill in some walls. We like walls. Walls keep us safe. Some room for windows. Not that I'll get much light down here in this in this crevice. Um, oh, I should probably put a door somewhere. Uh, but we'll, we'll sort that out after. And and it, we'll stick a roof on. It's not going to be the most. Um, not going to be the most aesthetically pleasing of structures, but you know it does the job. So so it's a win. It's a win-win situation without much of much winning because it's not it's not nice to look at. I'll keep talking. Okay, so here's our roof. There's a bird that seems to want to get on top of it. Sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna need some sheep because if it turns to nightfall, I'm gonna have lots of problems sleeping. This, this, I should have probably made that bigger. Oh well. Okay, so a little shed. It's not actually a door on it just yet. So if we fill in this and then break this, this can be our door. Try break it anyway. Brilliant. And um, we've got some wood left over. Uh, let's make a little, a little bridge across here. Good. So, again, uh, when I'm saying Minecraft, wood, wood is essential. Uh, once I've got a little bit of wood, I mean, I'm going to need more, but we're going to create a workbench. And everyone knows how to create a workbench, uh, aka a crafting table. And we'll stick that down here. Okay, um, we'll get some sticks. And we'll, we'll make some wooden tools. Now, I really hate wooden tools so I'm only going to make one as soon as I've got some stone um, we'll make stone tools instead so let's mine some stone and keep the lookout for sheep hmm okay well there's some stone around here where the outcropping go because I want the uh Ah, oh, there it is. I want the coal, of course. And it's getting dark, so maybe I should uh, leave that for now and just try kill a couple of sheep. I need food. I'm sorry, piggy. I'm sorry! Come here. Damn pig. Oh, and I didn't even get any any bacon. Brilliant. Uh, it's getting very dark, so uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I think I'll leave the uh, the sheep till morning. Let's head back to the house. Uh, we're blocking the windows, and we'll we'll sit there in the dark all night. Ow. Okay, let's, uh, oop, hang on, wrong button, there we go, let's block this in, let's block these in, we can spend one night in here, tomorrow we'll get some sheep, uh, and we'll leave this open so there's at least a bit of light, but we won't let, let, let things attack us. Now, um, I'll take this moment to talk a bit about the UI, because the UI in Tekkit is slightly different to the one in Minecraft. Uh, your bottom bar is the same, you're still going to get experience, you're still going to need food to survive. 
Um, you probably already noticed there is a minimap in the top right hand corner, which is very, very useful. Um, not only does it sort of record where you are in your immediate surroundings, but if I press the period key, I get a, uh, I get a menu coming up. So, looking at this menu, uh, we can enable things like the death point, that will show you where you died. Um, I'm going to disable that because I think that's a bit of a cheat. But one thing I will be using is waypoints. Okay, So waypoints, um, you can add them to your map at any point and you will see them from anywhere. So let's add one. This is, this is home. Well, let's call it work shed. And what colour shall we have that? Let's have it let's have it bright red. Okay. So now no matter where I am, I'll always see this. And you might be thinking, well that's just get, gonna get in the way. That's gonna get in the way all the time. I'm gonna see this red door, I'll think it's I'll think it's zombie eyes, uh, I'll, I'll think it's spider eyes, it's just gonna annoy me. Well, that's fine, because you can disable it. And it won't it won't lose it or anything, but it's disabled now. Okay, so I only need to turn it on when I need to use it, and it's fantastic in that way. Um, the other thing is, and we shall do some tinkering with it. If I press E to go into my inventory screen, you'll see this. Uh, it looks very much like too many items mod. It it might well be. And look at all the items present in TechIt. Look at them. There's, there's loads. And you might think, how the hell, how the nether am I going to learn all those recipes? Well, let me tell you this, you don't have to. I'm just going to click on one of these and it will, it will tell me the recipes. Look at that, there's several different recipes to make stone bricks. Brilliant. Okay, so... When you uh, load up TechIt from the TechIt launcher, normally, it will it will not be like this. If you click on one of these, you'll get a stack of it. That's because you'll be in cheat mode, and it, it's automatically in cheat mode. What you want to do is press this options button down at the bottom left corner. Click on where it, it'll say up here cheat mode like that. Change it to change it to recipe mode, and and then you're fine. Okay. That's if you if you don't want to cheat. If you do want to cheat, well, fair enough. But I'm not going to be cheating in this because I'm I'm going to teach you. Uh, oh, hello, zombie. Hello there. Would you would you like to come in? Nah, sorry, mate. We don't accept zombies in here. Go away. Leave me. So yeah, um, I forgot what I was to say, but you get the idea. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be waiting quite a while for daytime, so I'll probably skip forward to daytime and we'll, we'll get started trying to collect some uh, bed material, some more wood, and maybe even uh, find some rubbish.